Can you name all of these pictures? Shells Fish Beach Photo T-shirt Cheese Sandcastle Ice cream Sun Wow! It is such a lovely weather today! How nice would it be if I could spend the day at the beach? while drinking fresh coconut juice. So refreshing. Oh, hello there. I'm sorry for being too busy imagining about how my day should be. I'm Mr. D, your on-screen English teacher for the day. And me, Yolo, your favorite fuzzball. Hey, Yolo. How are you feeling today? Are you in the mood of following me to the beach? You know I am. Wonderful, YOLO. Well, boys and girls, put on your safety belt for we are going on a journey to the beach. Yay! I love going to the beach. I would like to teach you, boys and girls, a quick English lesson. But first, I want you to focus on the last sound of this word. Are you ready? The word is... B E C H Beach Beach Can you hear? The final sound of the word beach. Can you tell me what is it? Yes, you are correct. It's ch. On its own, the letter C is pronounced as k, as in cat, and the letter H is sound as as in house. However, when combined together, these two letters make the sound of ch. Amazing, right? By the way, YOLO, I suddenly feel like singing. Would you like to join me? Definitely. Come, friends. Let's sing together. Trains are chugging up the hill. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Trains are chugging up the hill. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Choo choo. Wow, yellow. That was good. Thank you, Mr. B. All of my friends at home are doing great too. Great job, everyone. Yes, they are. So, boys and girls. Remember, every time you see these two letters together, they are sounded as ch, 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 just like the sound of a train. Choo choo! Exactly, Yolo. Choo choo! Now, let us look at this picture. Can you think? of any other words in this picture 
that has the sound ch in it? Hmm. May I try to answer them, Mr. D? I could see there's a few words within. Should I just tell them, Mr. D? Hmm. No, 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 Yellow. They should do it on their own. Aha! To make it more fun, why not we give you one minute to find the answers? Are you ready, boys and girls? Your one minute starts now. Time's up! Let's check the answers together, shall we? So Yolo, can you tell them the answers? Definitely, Mr. D. Friends, in this picture, we have cat. K-A-T-C. Cat. The cat is catching the ball. Bent. B A N C Bench The girl is reading a book on the bench Thank you Yolo that was good now let me continue Chain Ch A N Chain There is a big chain at the beach Coach. K O T. Coach. There is a yellow coach at the beach. Child. T. Child. Child. I saw a child looking at the signboard. Chair. T. Air. Chair. The chair breaks into two. Chocolate. Ch chocolate. Chocolate. The girl loves to eat chocolate for dessert. Cheese. Ch ease. Cheese. That lady asked for cheese in her sandwich. Chicken. Ch e Chicken. The cute boy was eating a chicken. Chest. Ch est. Chest. A group of pupils found a treasure chest by the beach. Splendid work, boys and girls. I am pretty sure you have found at least 5 out of 10 words in the picture. You deserve a round of applause. If you notice from the picture earlier, there are words with ch sound at the end, while there are also words with ch appearing in front of a word. For example, YOLO. Chicken. Child, chair, chocolate, cheese, children, chess. My dear boys 
and girls. Sometimes the sound ch could also be in front of a word and at the end of a word at the same time. For example, church. Ch, er, ch, church. Ch, er, ch, church. Wonderful, Yolo. By the way, I have a question for you, Yolo. Uh oh. What can you normally find at the beach which you can use to make necklace? Or even decorative items. Is it shells? Yes, you are right. It's shells. Do you know that seashells are mobile homes? A seashell is not an animal. It is a portable home for a wide variety of animals. The animals that live in this home are molas. That said, not all molas use a shell. The cephalopod family, which include the octopus and squid, don't use a mobile home to keep them safe. Instead, they use other means of defense, like their ink, of poisonous suction cups on their tentacles. So Yolo, do you notice that when you want to say the word shells, you have to make the sh sound as if you are trying to get somebody to keep quiet when the baby is sleeping. You are correct, Mr. B. Exactly. It sounds just like when you hush somebody. But please be careful. Some people would get their tongue twisted when pronouncing sh and s. If you have such difficulty in pronouncing these sounds, try to practice this tongue twister. Say this line at a normal pace at first and slowly speed up the pace. Make sure to sound the words correctly. Keep practicing until you get it right. Like this. She sells seashells by the seashore. That's amazing, Mr. D. Can my friend at home and I try to? Sure, why not? Remember to pronounce each of the words clearly. So, how was it? Did you twist your tongue while doing it? I'm sure it is all worth it, right? Well, boys and girls, just like ch, the sound sh can be placed either in front of a word or even at the end of a word. Take these two words for example. For this word, shine, the sh sound is placed before the others. So, shine. You'll get shine. The same goes to this word. It is a fish. The sh sound is placed after the others. Can you spell fish for me? Let's blend the sound together, shall we? So first, you have followed by S and H together. They are 
sh, so f, i, sh, fish. All right, just like before, let's take a look at this picture and find out as many words as you can find that has sh sound in it. Be mindful of the alarm. You'll only have one minute to complete the task. Good luck, my friends. Your one minute starts now. Time's up! So boys and girls, you should find... Shadow Shirt Shape Shovel Shoes Ship And Shrimp Did you find all of them? Well done. Well... Oh, it's tea time! Look at you, YOLO. You are always excited for a game time. Well, boys and girls, the game is very simple. I will show you a series of pictures and you have to choose the correct sound to complete the blanks either ch or sh make sure to answer before the blanks are filled let's get started in on under in front of behind next to between what are you singing about mr d oh it is a song that I always use in class to teach about prepositions. Propositions? No, it's prepositions. Words like in, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, and between. I see. Do you mind teaching me that song, please? Sure. Follow me, okay? It comes with hand gestures too. In, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, between. In, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, between. You are not singing with me, YOLO. Well, since we are still at the beach, let's try to describe some of the things we see here. The rule is very simple. You must use the correct prepositions for the question. For example, where are the shell?
They're in the box. In is the preposition used here. If you are ready, you may begin. Have you gotten the answers for all of the questions? If you do, let's discuss the answers together. The first one is, where's the shell? It's on the sand castle. Next, where's the fish? It's in the sea. Next question, where is the bag of chips? It's between the two hats. Lastly, where's the shirt? It's under the bench. Did you get all of the answers correct? Fantastic! Ouch! Hold on! I think there's something in the sand. It's a bottle! And there's a letter in it. It's story time! It is a great Saturday. The sun shines so bright. I could feel the breeze on my face. I could hear the splash of the wave. Walking around the beach in my white shirt and a pair of newly bought shoes makes me feel so much at ease. Then, I went to sit on the bench while munching on a bar of chocolate. Suddenly, a chicken came near me and took my chocolate away. I was shocked. I stood up and chased after the chicken and then... And then, what happened? Well, the letter stops there apparently. So, boys and girls, you've read the letter with us, right? Will you try to answer all these questions? Time's up! Okay, YOLO. Let's discuss the answers for these questions together. Number one. What could I hear at the beach? I heard the splash of the wave. Number two. What did I wear at the beach? I was wearing white shirt and a pair of newly bought shoes. Number three, where did I sit? I sat on a bench. Number four, what did I do at the bench? I munch on a chocolate bar. Number five, what animal came near I? A chicken. Number six. What did the chicken do to I? The chicken took I's chocolate. Number seven. What did I do to the chicken? I chased after the chicken. Well, YOLO, we have come to the end of our lesson for the day. Before we go,
Do you mind telling us what we have learned? Sure. Today, my friends, you and I have learned how to sound ch and sh. It's ch and sh. Well done, Yolo. That will be all for now. Goodbye, everyone. See you later, alligator.